Hello everyone. Welcome to Astana Music's Artist Spotlight. Our guest today was voted Hawaii's Best New Hip Hop Artist of 2014 before moving to Los Angeles where she really found her groove. Today she's one of Astana's hottest new artists. Please welcome Jazzy. What's up, Jay? Thank you so yeah. much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So tell me how you got started in the music business. How I got started in the music business? Well, it was like a really crazy kind of way it happened. I started going to college for a couple of years. Um, I decided this wasn't really for me. So I dropped out of school and then I was like looking for odd things to do like creative wise. Um, started taking some pictures with some photographers and stuff and then I met some um, producers. Right? I started working with um, somebody um, who had a label and then started working with them for a while. Um, moved to LA with them, started working with them until you know things weren't really working out, kind of had created differences, kind of parted ways, and now I'm here um, working with Astana. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. And you didn't grow up in Hawaii, right? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Port Orchard, Washington. Small town? Super small, like nothing's there. Like, there's no mall there. It's like, I think it was one, we had one high school. So it's just a small town. Did you have an interest in music that, that early? Right, ever, ever since I could remember, I was always dancing, I was always writing, I was always singing. I was always just, just being a little girl, I thought. You know, but then it just advanced every, every year I grew older. I was like, this is what I love. This is what I want to do. I didn't even know how to even comprehend what it was to record a song. I didn't even know that was possible or that even was a career, you know? So as I got older and then especially after college and after I started making my own decisions, I was like, this is the path that I need to go on. Wow. Well, you found it early, relatively early, I think. Um, when you went to school, was that for music or was that for something else? No, it wasn't for music. It was just to go to college. Um, I was originally going to have like a communications degree. Um, just something uh, w with writing because I was always writing, um, but no, it wasn't for music. Got it. So who were your favorite artists coming up? Like growing up? Yeah, when you were younger, before college. Before college, oh my goodness. Michael Jackson is my number one guy. If I could, I would marry him right now. Yeah. But um, I listened to um, everybody. Um, I listened to a lot of Beyonce. I listened to a lot of Spice Girls. Uh, Missy Elliott, uh, Lil' Kim. Uh, I remember when I was in like fifth grade and I was playing like Ludacris in the bathroom, like, what's your fantasy? And my mom was like, what the are you listening to? So, like, Usher, um, Chris Brown, um, and Rihanna. So, fast forward a little bit, you're in school or, or you just left school in, in Hawaii and you somehow got this title of Best New Hip Hop Artist. How did that come about? Um, just putting in work, uh, grinding, and really putting yourself out there and not being afraid. What does that look like, putting yourself out there? Is, is this uh, collaborating with other artists, yeah. just doing local gigs? Mm -hmm. What does that look like for some, and really the way, reason I'm asking is for the benefit of people who might want to follow that same path that you did. Like how do others get started in that way? Being original and being yourself, um, staying true to the culture, um, and not being afraid to, did I ever say that? Not being afraid? Not being afraid to like put yourself out there even if you think maybe they won't like it or, or it might not be approved or whatever. As long as you stick to your guns and you just have confidence in yourself, I think that that is a main factor. But also um, networking and collaborating with other artists is a, is a big factor or else nobody's gonna wanna support you if it's all about you. You know what I mean? You have to be about the whole. Do you remember your first public gig? I do. Yeah. I do was remember. Was scary? Yeah. It was really scary, but I was exciting at the same time. Um, all I knew is that I just wanted to go up there and do my thing. Um, but I've been like doing like talent shows and stuff like when I was a little girl. But um, my first public gig, it was like short and sweet. And it was that little hole in the wall. But I remember it was a lot of fun. Did that inspire you to keep going and doing more and more? Yeah, because one of my biggest fears was actually performing. And that was something that I was just so scared to do. I used to have this like tremble in my hand and I would like shake when I talk like this and stuff like that. But 
I was like, you know what, the only way that I'm going to get over this is if I ask for more performances. And, and I just started knocking them out. Big ones, small ones, everywhere. And of course you're going to mess up, you got to go through that. But now it's my number one favorite thing to do. Yeah, I love the way you, that you frame that. And early on you recognize that it's a matter of pushing through the fear and just doing it over and over again. Yes. You'd build confidence, right? You gotta and face you'd the get music. over it. Oh yeah. So do you still get even a twinge of stage fright today? Of course, but um, it's more so like an, an angst of excitement mm. because I just wanna get out there so bad and do it, you know? So you're using it as fuel, really. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah, I love that. I think that's really important. Um, enjoy what you do, you know? Don't, don't say like, like, oh, I'm gonna do this. I don't wanna mess up no words. Then, you, then the whole artistry is out the window. You need to enjoy every single moment that you're on that stage mm. and let it be you. Did you ever have any big mess ups? Absolutely, of <laughs> course. I think you need that. Um, failure is the number one key to success. Amen. Yes, so you absolutely need to know what it feel like. I remember one time I was with my hype girl and we were on stage and I forgot all the words to my song. All of them. And I was like rapping just something random. I don't even know what I was saying, like just random words. I, I promise you this, this is what I did. I took her to the bathroom and I said, come with me to the bathroom. I said, slap me right now. Slap me across my face. Again, 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 again. So I will never do that again. That's awesome. Yeah. So who are your inspirations today? I have a lot of inspirations. Um, a lot of the artists that I just previously named who I, who I grew up listening to, um, but also a lot of the people that are around me, um, especially a lot of the strong women that are around me. Um, they, the, thing, the stories that they've been through, um, their wisdom, and just what they want to see in the world and changes in life, um, that inspires me in itself. You know, I think that women are coming of age as of now, and I really feel like, like, we're better than y'all. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I understand. <laughs> I may agree. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, um, I look up to uh, Jay Z, um, Snoop Dogg. Um, I look up to people like Nipsey Hussle. You know, people who really do things for their community and really have come from the ground up. You know, and P Diddy is another one that I really look up to. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so important to have uh, positive role models and, and people that uh, have messages that are aligned with yours. Yeah. Um, which, if you could describe your music or, or what you're about as an artist, how would you describe that? Inspirational and real. Uh, my music is a blend of hip hop, reggae, soul kind of energy. And um, what I talk about mostly is everything that I've been through. And I'm not blaming it on anybody or saying that my life was so bad. I'm just telling my story of what it was. Um, being a young woman in the industry, it was really hard. And it is hard still today. Um, but my music that I'm focusing on right now now, like the new material that I'm coming out with, Astana, is um, I feel more uplifting even though it's telling my past struggles, I'm saying, how can we come out of this? How did I make myself better from this, you know? And what is your message to fans? To be you and be all of you. Because nowadays it's so common to just copy and jock. And who are you though? What makes you different from this person? You turn on the radio, it's almost hard to decipher who's who, unless they're a super big name. My message is go in it with no regrets, whatever that is to you, it, your dream, your goals, your, your, um, your love and your passions in life. Chase those things. Those things are what matter. I, I think that what's, uh what a lot of artists try to do is, rightly, is like what you're saying, be original, stay true to yourself, and um, don't try to mold yourself to an audience because your tribe will find you 
if you are authentic. Yes. yes. Right? So let them find you. I love that. And if they don't like you, then they're not your tribe. But you will find there's billions of people on this earth. I love that. Right? That That's you. All right. Dap it up for that. <laughs> Good one. Did you ever consider giving it up? Of course. A lot of times. Why didn't you? Why didn't we give up life in general? How many times were you thinking about quitting life? And then the next day come around, you're like, I'm still here. I'm still doing it. For some reason, it seemed like every time I come close to thinking about maybe I should just like quit. Maybe I should just stop doing it. I would get a message or someone calls me or something happens right in the nick of time that says, no, Jay, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Whether somebody call me and say, you are my biggest inspiration. I don't know what you're going through right now, but everything that you said or in that song, you just lifted my spirits and girl, don't stop. That'll keep you going, won't it? It's, that, it's and and so... look, it gives me chills because I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah, it's it, giving it, me chills too. It keeps you yeah. going. So yeah. um, like, like I said, it's like, as far as that goes, who keeps you going is like people. It's not me. You know, who are we here for? We're here for others, not ourselves. How are we of service to our youth? How, are, how can we uplift each other? And I say, well, maybe I still have a job to do. If not music, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh God, I don't know. And I thought about that so many times. I couldn't even think about it. You know, we talked about your, your commitment to serving others and creating this kind of value. And I always believe that there's more than one way to do that. Oh, yes. So you, obviously, you do it beautifully through your music and through your artistry. But if that wasn't there, uh, how else do you think that you might inspire people? Writing. Writing. I definitely feel like, and I know it, I'm going to have books coming in my lifetime but I'm a writer, yes. What sort of book do you think you'll write? Biographies, uh, autobiography about me. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about my life. Because uh, your journey is certainly valuable to people who want to get to where you are today, right? Um, yeah, I would say so, or anywhere. Um, I think it's just an interesting story. Yeah. Um, if, you, if I were to read up on myself, I'd be shocked at yeah. half of the things I've been through. Yeah. But, um, it can just show a lot of people that they're not alone. You know, whether you're feeling like you're going through the worst thing in the world, you know, we there with you. Mm, yeah, support. Support, yes, hope. Yes. We yes. all need that. Who do you learn from today? Oh, I read a lot of books um, and I, I talk to a lot of my friends and they're, they're usually older, my big homies um, and my big homies girls too. Um, you know, they just know so much. Um, I talk to everybody, even just random people I meet, you know, and they just teach me a lot, I guess. So what are you most excited about today? Today, I'm excited to release uh, my new music. So I, it's brand new, um, new material, new album coming. I'm not going to give away any of the details yet, but it's just something fresh and, and a sound that nobody's heard me before. You know, I had to switch lanes for a little bit, so, you know, but pick it to pieces and we move on, you know? So I'm just super excited about that. Right. And you're, a, you're relatively new with Astana Music yep. and uh, Astana is so excited to be working with you. Um, what, how did that collaboration, that relationship start? Um, well, actually, they have an artist on the label. Her name is Chelsea. And she was looking for a rapper to be on one of her songs. And um, a friend of a friend hit me up and was like, hey, I know this person, blah, blah, blah. And then sure enough, we got in the studio. History was made. Yeah, so. that, that's important. So you're collaborating, or you just started collaborating with an existing artist. Yes. yes. So for you, what's the best part of working with Astana? It's just the, a family vibe, and it's a good feel. And everybody's um, focused on one goal. And we're all there just to uplift each other. I think that's most important. Mm. So it's been really fun, actually. One of your mentors is George Brown, a founder of Cool and the Gang. And 
uh, founder of Astana Music. Yes. So tell me about what it's like to work with him. Oh my gosh, he's so smart and so talented. And he's just so creative and funny. I don't know if the dude ever sits down, to be honest. But I mean, he just has so many ideas and um, he really just want to feed off of me. He asked me a lot of questions like, you know, what, what would you prefer? What was this sound like? Da, da, da. So um, it was cool. I went to um, Atlanta to record um, some singles, brought them back to LA. And then we had some um, instrumentalists come in and like play some guitar and bass on there, on, on the songs and everything. We just like tweaked up the songs in the studio. It was, it was a lot of fun. I want to talk about your latest single. Oh, yes, yes. That, uh, what inspired you to write that? So my latest single, what inspired me to write that, is called Honest. And, you know, a lot of people were wanting me to be honest with them about something in particular. I'm not going to say what. Um, but I'm like, you don't want me to be honest because once I tell you the truth, you're going to get mad. So that in itself was like, I'm going to make a song just like that. Oh, wow. Because I feel like I am so honest with what I say sometimes that when people ask me, they're not prepared for the truth. So I was like, that's a good idea for a song. You just give it to them straight, Raw. no chaser. Mm -hmm. Blunt, yeah. Blunt. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, it's not good because it hurts people's feelings or they don't know how to take it. So I'm trying to learn how to like ease in there better. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. I'm working on myself. Right, right. So uh, I understand you're into personal development. Yes, I absolutely am. And you're a voracious reader. You're telling yeah. me about some Lee Iacocca thing you're reading. Right now. <laughs> I just finished the book. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a crazy book. Yeah. Cool book. Why is it that the the very last chapter is called Making America Great Again? And the book came out in like '85. Right. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Is that like a, a common saying? Not really. Okay. I, I, did so did yeah. Trump get it from the book? Maybe. I don't know. That's interesting. I, I think that America's already great. I think so, too. Yeah. I think that we can definitely use some uh, tweaks here and there, but I do think it's great. Yeah, there you go. No, yeah. Not perfect. We're doing our best, right? I don't know. Can we ever be perfect? I, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's an illusion, right? Yeah. But... If we're all perfect, I mean, where's the growth? That part, exactly. Right, we have to keep growing and striving and doing things just like you and your career and yes. your message and mm -hmm. you know, it's so empowering. I love that you're empowering to young people and women especially. Yes. And, and that you have this message that you're trying to get out Absolutely. beyond just, just being out there and being famous. Right, and so that concept right now is actually not what I'm focused on. Um, past years that I've been, you know, in my music career, I felt like that I was focused on the wrong things mm -hmm. internally in myself. I feel like as an artist, you know, today, we're looking at streams, we're looking at numbers, we're looking at followers, we're looking at all of these things that we need, right? I get it. We need that. But it starts here. It starts in the music, it starts on the mic, it starts in your soul. It starts by having fun, enjoying what you do and believing what you do. And then whatever that is that extra stuff will come. Yeah. So right now I'm just focused on putting that soul in my music and enjoying every second of it. Right. The vibes are important. It sounds like you have a good perspective on it because it is show business. That's why it's yeah, business. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because you have to feed the machine. For sure. But then staying true to yourself, I guess that's a challenge, right? And the originality yeah. and the creativity, the, all the things that we're talking about, mm -hmm. the things that make jazzy. Yes, it, but simply just enjoying what you do. Yeah. You know, whether you're a carpenter or a doctor or a plumber, whatever. You got to enjoy what you do. Yeah. Let me ask you this, do you think that it's a matter of finding your passion and doing that, or do you find how to be passionate about what you're doing? Mm, tricky, and I love that. It depends on the situation. Um, what are you doing? Are, do you have a choice to do it? If you don't have a choice, 
and you're not passionate and, and, and you're not passionate about it, well then you, that, that sucks. But that's when you put into what you said. Just make the best of it. Make the learn best, to love it. Learn to love it. Yeah. But I chose this path. I chose this career. I need to love it. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm doing the wrong thing. What impact would you like to have in the world? Um, I don't really know about the exact answer to that, but I just know that I just want to be an example of someone who kept getting knocked down, who really had no chance of anything, to making it out of a little hole, boop, and say, you could do it, you know? And it being a real, a real story, you know? I don't have any like super famous friends or uncles that I knew that brought me up or put me on. No, I don't have none of that. And I never had none of that. You know what I'm saying? So some people you would say or think it's easier for them because their uncle was whoever there was. What? Was it Uncle Quincy Jones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I don't have no famous uncles or aunts like that or anybody related to me like that, no. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you have a dream and you want to chase it and you want to achieve it, then go do it, it doesn't matter. Well said, that's great advice. What kind of advice would you give to your teenage self? To my teenage self? Oh my gosh. Don't be um, so anxious to get there, you know? Where is there? That was, that was at my teenage self, which I made quick, stupid decisions. And I made decisions off of the whim of wanting things that are not really valuable, you know? I was putting the wrong emphasis on things that I, I felt that I needed, mm. such as the fame, such as uh, the attention, you know? Things that should not matter. As a teenager, you think that those things matter. But um, as a teenager, I would tell myself, yeah, don't be so anxious. Relax and slow down and make your decisions. Um, think about them. Play them out. Mm. Play out your decisions. And also, the decisions that you do make, once you are in that situation, fill it out. Are you happy here? Are you not? If you're not and it's getting worse, don't stay. That's what I would tell myself. Mm. Because when you get in this, yourself in a situation and you're that young and then that's all you have, you feel like if you lose that, you ain't gonna have nothing and you just stay there. That's the worst thing you could do is not move. Don't be afraid to move. That's deep. I like it. <laughs> I like it. You're awesome. Really? <laughs> I'm vibing off you, Jay. Hey, <laughs> there I, you go. I, I felt it in you. Yeah, You've been yeah. there too. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we've all got a story, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? And totally. people can learn off that. Yeah. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. All right. You want to play a little fun facts? Oh, sure. This is going to be a speed round, so oh, just boy. a quick answer. All right. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Let me pick some good ones out for us. All right. What do you wish you were better at? Running. What always makes you laugh? Jokes. <laughs> uh, let's, think of, let's think of better answers, Jack. Biggest risk you've ever taken? Started my music career. <laughs> 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 Best advice you've ever given or received? To not give up, and I received it. Mm. Even at, when you're at your worst. Yeah. Best advice for new uh, music artists? Hmm. That I that I'm giving? Yes. Okay. Best advice for new music artists. Same thing, probably. Yeah, same thing. Or just be you. Do something new. Stop copying everybody. Uh, what characteristic do you value most in yourself? My personality. What part of your personality? Um, my positive personality. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. The um, the ability to self talk and uplift yourself and others. And what do you look for in other people? Things that I can learn from them. Um, advice, um, th especially um, situations I'm going through at the moment, and I'll ask random people, have you ever been through this? Have you ever been through this? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Mm. Advice. What superpower would you like to have? In invisibility. Why? Oh, 
so I could just be anywhere at any given time. Fly on the wall. Yeah, nobody right, know. nobody know. I love it. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Oh, sh white chocolate for sure. Chocolate, yep, amen. No, white chocolate. White chocolate? Yeah. Okay. That's the guilty pleasure. Is it? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is that worse for you? I don't know. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I'll just eat more of it. Yeah, yeah. All right, final one. Secret talent. I can I can burp the ABCs and anything I, I want to say. <laughs> and really? No, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that was my final one, right? So I can't ask you for another one. No. Oh, you can't ask. One day I might show you, Jay, behind the scenes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> After a little bubbly. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, the champagne. Yeah. All right, all right, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> all right, Jazzy, so where do we find out more about you? Well, you can uh, hit up my social media, uh, J-Z-I-M-U-Z-I-C. Yes. That's Jazzy Music with Zs. Um, or uh, my YouTube, and everything is connected to my social media, so you can find me there. Got it, got it. And do you, uh, are you active on social media in the comments and everything? Oh yeah, totally, yeah. All right. And, and I love responding, I love messaging. Please, entertain me. Entertain you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Well, it is entertainment, isn't it? Mm -hmm, totally. All right, well I love this. Come back, I hope, right? Yeah, I'm gonna come back. All right. You're gonna bring the bubbly, right? That's right, Okay. that's right. All right, Jay? You name the flavor. <laughs> okay, pink Moscato. Pink Moscato. You ever had it? No. That's another guilty pleasure of mine. Okay. All right. I'll keep note of that. Okay. I'm point. All right. Thanks, Jazzy. <laughs> thanks, Jay. All right. Big thanks to my special guest, Jazzy, for coming in and sharing your story with us and a little of those fun facts. Uh, be sure to check out her music coming out soon on Astana Music's label. And be sure to uh, hit her up on social media at JZI. What is that? M-U-Z-I-C. You got it. All right. Till next time, have fun and uh, we'll see you again.